Welcome to the student section, a show where we have organic conversations with the students of Queens University, the citizens of Kingston, and we bring everyone together for one cause, to support the Queens Gales. Let's go. And good afternoon and welcome to Richardson Stadium in Kingston, Ontario. Welcome to the first ever episode of the student section. I am the, your host, Kwame Osei, and I'm here with the man himself, Coach Steve Snyder, Queens Gales football head coach. We got president of the women's football team, Shamama Raza. We got the vice president of the women's football team, Caitlin Calhoun. And this is the student section, and everybody welcome to the first ever episode. Ooh. Great to be here at Richardson Stadium. Oh, what a beautiful day. Oh yeah, it's very nice, glad to be back. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago that you guys were here playing in your championship game, so we're, we're glad you're back, and we look forward to hosting another championship game down the road. So talking about the championship game, Friday Night Lights, hosted by the men's football team, coached by the men's football team, played by the women's football team. Ladies, how was your experience this, this year? Tell us a little about it. I think this past year, especially everything with COVID uh, shutting us down, we weren't able to travel for uh, most of our season, so it was very nice that the men's football team, especially with you, Coach Schneider, um, that we were able to get this game of this big of a caliber um, out. Um, and we were able to invite the Kingston Queens community as well. And I'm sure everyone uh, during the season enjoyed the game and they were very excited to put um, Queens women's football on the map playing at Richardson Stadium. I know personally for me finding like the Queens women's football uh, club like during my second year we had COVID and so I just felt like I was waiting forever to play and like then we had like our summer training camp, then we had like our fall session, then we finally started playing. And so to be able to play at Richardson just felt like a huge, amazing culmination of everyone's efforts. And it just felt like the perfect cherry on top to everything. Exactly, but here's a real question. You could have played any other sport. You could play basketball, you could have played volleyball, soccer. Why football? What makes football so special? That's a tough question. Um, I mean, I've played so many different competitive sports, like I come from a hockey soccer background um, and I've had opportunities to play basketball and volleyball in like elementary school and like try out pretty much everything. But football is just so unlike everything else just because it's so like, it's just like a new experience for me and I love to learn. So having the opportunity to learn from the men's football team and to be able to play out here at Richardson was just an opportunity I couldn't pass up. And I felt like it was also just the perfect sport to combine all of like my other like past skills and abilities um, to be able to become the best athlete I could possibly be. Another thing to add to that, a lot of females um, usually stop playing sport when they come to post-secondary. And I think, especially our team, you can come from any skill background, um, whether you have an athletic background, um, that sport is made for anyone. Uh, most of our athletes that come in and play have never played football before and with the help of the men's football team we're able to build them into superior athletes uh, and there's one thing that's great about our team is that there's a spot for every, everyone. If you're not the greatest runner you can go that's on the football. line. That's right. If you if you are big and strong, like there's a position for you regardless of your academic or your athletic background. I think it's important uh, that every student that comes to Queens has some club and I, you know a sports guy I would hope that it's sports but I'm, I'm so I'm glad that we were able to create football that gives so many more people a chance and uh, football is a great sport because you can come into it late and there are transferable skills if you were a great basketball player well a lot of that's going to show up on the football field and if you're a great hockey player a lot of that's going to show up on the football field and it's one of those sports that you can come to late and uh, and really you know catch on really quickly and um, and you're right about the different skill sets and body types and stuff. Football is, you know, it's got something for just about everybody. You talk about all the different positions and aspects of the game. So that's, you know, one of the reasons I've always loved it. And uh, I'm glad to see that you guys got a chance to see that for yourselves as well. That's a great promo for football. <laughs> Remember where you heard it. <laughs> Ladies, you got the head coach of the men's football team. The head coach. Not many people get the opportunity to be sitting with them one on one. Do you have any questions for her? We did. Just going back to Friday Night Lights, that championships game, um, we know that you played a very big role in making that happen. Um, and we were very excited to see that 
uh, your support um, was with us, uh, especially helping out with Queen's Athletics. Um, we were just curious to know, was the experience with Friday Night Lights what it went you, above and beyond my expectations. Yeah, it was great. Good to hear. And we wanted it to be a special night for a lot of people because I know you guys have worked so hard. You know, we keep a close track of what's going on, and I know you guys have put us, you know, a lot of time into it. And to be able to kind of have it all capped off with a special night at Richardson and um, open it up to fans and whatnot. You know, we want to grow the game of football. You know, we have a pretty pretty serious role in that in this community and what a, what better place to start than at Queens with the students so I think it was a special day for a lot of people and I got out to see it and I mean if people were into it you know the, the, the athletes on the field were certainly into it the coaches were into it and the fans were into it and it was great hold on I'm sitting here with the president and the vice president <laughs> well, so that's pretty special things. as well uh, you know I've certainly got some questions for you guys um, you know when you talk about school spirit um, what role do you think football can have in school spirit? I think going back to the community aspect that we were talking about, I had been playing since my first year when Queen's football wasn't even part of Queen's athletics. It was just, we were playing as powder puff, um, and it was one of the greatest things that I'd been able to be a part of in my first year, um, and especially seeing this past year, we had over a hundred girls be on the team and come out um, and play for us. And is that more than usual? Yeah, yeah. so that, that was actually one of our biggest turnouts um, during the past couple of years that we've been at Queen's, and we hope to continue that for next year. Um, I think having the support of the men's football team um, just adds to the student section as well. Um, do you want to add anything else, Caitlin? I mean, in terms of just fostering community in general, like football is huge. Um, you know, like I definitely like came into this club and like I've met like, like, like I don't know, like I guess like 20 more, like at least 20 more like new friends and like um, it was just so nice to like, feel more connected and more integrated into the Queens community. Yeah, I feel like this year, you know, although not being able to travel to other schools across the province, that may actually have been beneficial in the sense that you were able to build a stronger football community within Queens, creating a league within Queens. And maybe I'm wrong, but I think, you know, you try to look at the positives of it, and it maybe makes you channel your energy a little bit more inward, you know, and that might have been a positive. Because you guys got a league going on in the gym throughout the winter, is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah we got a league going on. It was started off in the gym, then ended up outside. Yeah. And it was amazing to see, because at the beginning, like, the, the, the girls were a little bit scattered, you know, some of them <laughs> had a little clicks, but by the end of it, the team spirit was ridiculous. It was like an all-time high, and you saw that on, on that, that game on the Friday Night Lights. So it, it was great to see new friendships being created. Like for me, I, I was wrecking some of the games, and I'll be I'll be just kind of listening, have my ears <laughs> to the sidelines. I heard this one talking with her teammates, talking about the, everybody's responsibilities and what to expect, and it was great because they were talking about football, you know. And that's something that's it's it's a language that we understand yeah, you know only we understand language, and yeah. we appreciate so it was great to see that uh, so coach you guys had a great season this year you guys made it all the way to the Yates Cup um, what are you hoping to do this year and uh, looking from the boys yeah uh, definitely a definitely a solid season last year kind of getting back into the conference championship game uh, was, was a big step for us and now there's a lot of things that need to improve on you know within our program for us to take the next step but one thing is right here is the student section you know we want to create a a dominant home field advantage and um, if we can find ways to get the student body out to as many games as possible make a noise and impact in the game forcing teams to maybe call timeouts or break down communication or just just get a little bit too nervous and excited because there's so many Queen students making so much noise having such a great time I think that would help our football team a lot and then you know you might be able to see in the background and some of the construction and, and hear it but you know we've got a new football building coming in here that uh, that our alumni have funded and um, that'll be ready in the 2023 season. So that's exciting too. There's a lot of great things going on around our football program, but for us getting the student section rallied up is gonna be huge. I think that's gonna make a massive impact. And our, our players take a lot of pride in the program. And I know, you know, having a student section that they can rely on uh, would just be one more thing that they can be proud of. That's great to hear. We, we hope to support you guys just as much as you guys have done for us. Um, these past couple of years. Well, speaking about culture, and specifically the Queen's culture, there's a specific uh, tradition with this culture. 
There's a specific song that <laughs> students from years on back, back to the origins of uh, the, the Queens football team, has started. The Oil Thigh song. Mm. Ah. The Oil Thigh song. Do you ladies know the Oil Thigh song? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> You're not real Queens <laughs> students and Queens uh, football fans if you don't know it. So part of our show is that we want to we wanna enhance the culture, we want to bring back tradition, we want our student section to be the loudest in the stadium when the oil thought comes on. So ladies, to prove that you are true Queens fans and Queens supporters and student section leaders, we got to hear the oil thought. Oh no. <laughs> you got to do it as well? All right. I mean, you, you, do what you can. Do what you can. Let's go. Are you going to join us? Royal <laughs> 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 <laughs>